everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Crates. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Indie Friday, and we're going to take a look at a Indiegogo campaign I backed called Miss Fury Joy Division. It is written by Billy Tucci, famous for the Sheik comics, and Maria Sanapo. Now, Miss Fury is um, a very, well, how can I say this? distinct character because um she dates all the way back to 1941 and she holds the esteemed distinction of being the first female hero created by a writer and artist who also happened to be a woman her name was june tarp mills and she chronicled the tales of the original catwoman for a full decade in newspaper strips and for a time the character was also licensed for marvel comics now <clears throat> what is also interesting about miss fury is um she was the original Catwoman. Now, no, she had nothing to do with Batman. She was a wealthy woman who lived in the 1940s New York. Um, she was like a socialite. Um, and she gets a hold of a uh, powerful costume that gives her some abilities. And the story here, Joy Division, has her um, getting involved in World War II, where she is recruited to help take down Joy Division, which is a Nazi camp full of Jewish women that are being used as prostitutes. And a lot of horrible stuff is being done to them. And unfortunately, this was something that commonly happened in the war, um, not just in Germany, but also over in Asia. So it, it's, it's interesting to see them bringing in something, you know, that actually like occurred during the war. And Marla gets in over her head and finds herself at one point being captured and just barely escaping. And she goes out of her way to try to help these people. Now, first off, let's talk about the art. Uh, I really love the art style in it. It's um, able to combine um, modern comic art style with, without neglecting the vintage feel of that era. And uh, the colors are really vibrant in the right places like when Marla shows up in her red dress she all focuses on her and the color scheme just helps enhance that story wise I actually really like this story um I have not I'll be honest I was not familiar with Miss Fury until I saw this campaign and it was really interesting to see this character that has such history is but yet is really not as well known as some of the more popular characters like Wonder Woman, Catwoman and seeing how this character knowing how she came to be and who had created her it, it's 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 kind of nice to see somebody paying respect to that character and with this story they give her they give her the ability to fight but also the ability to overcome obstacles, which is something I complain a lot about with female characters nowadays. It feels like everybody's afraid to um, have them fall, have them fail, because uh, then you're seen as not being, you know, great. And I think that's wrong because I feel like you have to go and fail in order to become stronger. And she realizes in one scene here that she misinterpreted the situation and gets herself in a bad place and she also soon realizes that the women she's there to save they might not be as weak as she thought and she learns to also trust somebody that was once an enemy it, it flows really nicely it doesn't it doesn't have a slow pace at all it it keeps the interest going you also find out some information that happened in pre prior stories where even though if you might not have read those stories they give you enough so you don't feel lost but you're also intrigued enough that you want to go back and read those stories the villains pretty much in this are the nazis it's nothing really there's no real like standout villain like you would get in uh typical comics like your red skull or anything the character you first sets up that you think is a villain is actually somebody who wants to break free of everything and tells Marla about like her past and has to get Marla to trust her so they can complete this mission. Now, the campaign, I believe, is still going because I'm, I'm looking at it on Indiegogo and it doesn't look like it's been shut down. Um, Billy offers a book in both softcover and hardcover. I got the softcover. 
and it was like 30 bucks for the soft cover and 60 for the I think it was 60 for the hard covers. I have to th- no, it's 50 for the hard covers, sorry. I have to say for the price I paid for this book, you get a lot of book. I mean, it is over 100 pages. It's story from beginning to end. He even throws in an extra story. The covers are great. Um you have choices of different covers or you can if you have the money, you can purchase them all. I actually went with the homage risque cover because um I liked the look of it. It, it was very vintage and it does pay homage to like the original comic. There's some other action pose ones. There's other ones of Marla next to her alter ego. There's even one of Marla in her red dress. It's um yeah, you have a lot of options in here. There's also prints you could buy. They have merchandise bundles. There's a lot of things you can choose from. And I have to give them credit. I mean, it's uh it's really a really a good campaign. Um now I know it's also published by Dynamite Comics. So I'm probably going to go back to Dynamite and see if I can find more of the back issues of Miss Fury that are connected to this story. Because there's a lot of stuff that gets introduced in this that I'm really intrigued by. And I really want to um, find out more. I mean, this is an interesting character. I know there's also been comics where they've she's crossed over with other famous characters like um, The Shadow. So I want to check those out too. What I'm going to do is down below, I'm going to put the link. So if you are interested in maybe purchasing it, if, if it's still available, I would say go for it. And if I do get a hold of any other books, I'm going to do a review. I mean, I have to say, I, I did enjoy this. If you like classic superhero stuff, then this is for you. Um, so tell me down below, did you back Miss Fury Joy Division. Have you read any other Miss Fury comics that you would suggest for me to check out? Go ahead, comment down below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!